Happy Wednesday. Hey, I want to talk to you today about God's power to get wealth. There is a power, a force from God that enables people to get wealth. I'm going to explain that to you today. And this is incredible. It's an incredible video. Share this with everybody you know, please. Everybody who is broke, everybody who wants to increase. We're talking about more money than you need. Money to pay your bills and money left over. I want you to live there with money left over. Amen. I want to recommend a book. I usually don't recommend other people's books too much, but this is a great book by Dave Williams. Entering into your wealthy place. This is good. It explains a lot to you about your wealthy place. And these principles, if you follow them, and it's not, they're not too hard, will take you into the wealthy place. Go to Amazon, check out Dave Williams, and you can get this book. Amen. This is great. I'm reading it now. I've been going through it. Somebody sent it to me. Thank you very much. So usually people send me a lot of stuff I don't read. But this one I am. Because it's scriptural. I don't read stuff that's not scriptural, folks. So if it's not scriptural, don't send it to me. But this one is. So I recommend, and I recommend it. Even some scriptural stuff is out of context. This one's not. This is a great book. Entering Into Your Wealthy Place by Dave Williams. Great book. Hey, say this with me today. I am saved and have been made the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I'm getting better looking every day. In my case, I am. Well, at the age of 34, I got a long ways to go. Amen? Usually a person doesn't get their best looks until they're somewhere, what, in their 90s maybe? You know, how many of you know that 90 is the new 50? There's a lot of people very productive in their 90s. My granddad was preaching every week when he was in his 90s. Glory to God. I will be too. If Jesus tarries, I'll be doing this when I'm 100 years old, folks. I got a long ways to go. Praise God. Praise God, huh? Share this video with everybody you know. Nobody's teaching on this level, folks. This is incredible stuff. Amen? And make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations because I want to speak the word-for-word -word blessing over you and break the curse of the law in your life. And I'm going to tell you in a few minutes why that is so important. Why that's so important. I'll tell you why it's so important. Because God said to do it. He said to do it. And he didn't just say that. He meant it for a reason. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, follow us on Facebook. Glory to God. And watch these videos. They will increase your faith. Now, look at this. In Deuteronomy 8.18, it says, Now, God is admonishing the people of Israel. He's getting them ready to go into the promised land now. They've been in the wilderness for 40 years. Now, this is the final, the final instructions for the people to go into the promised land is found in Deuteronomy 28, in, in Deuteronomy chapter, the, all the chapters, actually. God tells them, he says, and uh, what is it, chapter 11, he says, you shall have days of heaven upon the earth. This is what God intends for these people. <clears throat> that they will live in the Garden of Eden Covenant. And he tells them here, he says, when you get there and you're living in this wealth, because the people were wealthy, they came out of Egypt wealthy. They did not come out with empty pockets. 
God said to Moses, when I bring them out, they shall not come out empty. I don't want you to be empty. No more empty pockets. Amen. Somebody will grab that and preach it. Hallelujah. But in verse 18 of uh, Deuteronomy 8, God says, and thou shall not, thou shall remember the Lord thy God. Don't forget who gave you this power to get wealth, he says. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives thee power to get wealth. Power to get wealth. That he may establish or continue his covenant, which he swore to your fathers. Now he is giving these people, <clears throat> and he has given these people, a power to a force. If you look up that word power in the concordance, in the Hebrew, the Hebrew word means a force. There's a force there to get wealth that causes wealth to cause wealth. God's force causes wealth to come to you. Can you wrap your head around this? I'll tell you, if you do, you will live a wealthy life. There is a force that God provides that will cause you to live a wealthy life. But you got to get a hold of it. You got to get a hold of it. It's, none of this stuff is automatic. Nothing, in, nothing is automatic. Salvation is not automatic, folks. Forgiveness is not automatic. There are conditions for everything. All of God's promises come with conditions. We call it the if. You know, I there's preach sermons all the time called, which side of the if are you on? An if means there's two sides. I told Jeffy when he was little, I said, if you eat all your supper, I will take you for ice cream tonight. So he ate all the supper. I went in to the living room after the kitchen was all cleaned up, sat down and went, ah, I was done for the night. Here he comes. He said, let's go. I said, what do you mean let's go? He said, let's go get ice cream. I ate all my supper. He met the condition and he demanded the ice cream. If you meet God's condition, you can demand the ice cream. Or the reward. Amen. This is, I'll tell you folks, I do. If I meet God's condition, if I'm doing what God said to do, I expect him to do what he said he would do. We stayed in Bible college because we were down to 58 cents in our checking account. We ran out of money. I said to the Lord, whoa, whoa, whoa here, sir. I have honored you with my substance and with the first fruits of all my increase. Now you fill my barns. And he did. I mean to tell you he did. I had met his condition and I wanted what he said I would have. God gives you a power to get wealth if you are a covenant person. And if you are born again, you are a covenant person with God. If you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs of the promise, which is the covenant and the blessing of the Lord. And the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. When you are blessed by God, let me tell you something, people. When you are blessed by God, and have met his condition of tithing, God gives you the power to get wealth, but you got to demand it. You got to receive it. You got to say, I want that power. I want that force in my life to get wealth that causes wealth to come to me. I don't chase money, folks. Money chases me. Check out Leroy Thompson. The money cometh guy over there in Baton Rouge. 
All he wants, he walks around all day, going, money cometh, money cometh, money cometh. And it does. He's tapped into this power to get wealth. Huh? These people that are doing so well, they've tapped into this power. Dave Williams has tapped into this power. Kenneth Hagan tapped into this power. Kenneth Copeland has tapped into this power. Joyce Meyer, Joe Olstein, all these people, they've tapped into this power, folks. They're not out there chasing money. Money's chasing them. I want money to chase you. I want, I want money to just come to you. Jesus described it to us. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything you need will be given to you, Jesus said. And God only knows one way to give things to you. And that is in abundance. God is not a God of enough. He is a God of too much. An overflow God. That's how he operates. He says he'll give us, he'll open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing that there is not enough room in your house to receive. My house is full of blessings. We give stuff away because there's not room for everything that's coming in. There's not enough room. We have a huge home and we're hunting for room to put things. So we're giving stuff away. We always give things away. We have to. Because there's more coming around the corner. Where are we going to put it? What are we going to do with it? And this is Mary's fault. Because she gives away so much stuff. She's always giving stuff away. And when she gives stuff away, more comes in. Years ago, when we first got married, we were broke. And she says, I'm going to go give the pastor $100. I said, $100? She said, yes, she got, she didn't even ask me, just wrote out a check for a hundred dollars, which was scraping the bottom of our checking account. I don't mind telling you. Got in her car, went out to the pastor's house and gave it to him. She came back. The end of the month, we had money to pay all of our bills. You explain it to me. It didn't make any sense. God's word doesn't have to make sense to you. Doesn't make any sense to me. Where I come from, when you give away things and you give away money, you got less. But with God's word and, and when you're operating in God's kingdom, you give away money, you give away things, you got more. It don't make any sense. Doesn't have to. God's word works. It doesn't have to make any sense to you. He says, lean not to your own understanding. Don't try to figure this out. You're not smart enough. Just do it and watch it work. It works. Tap into this power. You call me today. I'll pray this power to get wealth over you. I'll pray that over you today. Say, Pastor Jim, I want that power to get wealth in my life. I'll pray it over you. Amen. I will declare it over you and speak it over you and cause it to come upon you. It's a power. It's a force. It's a spirit. Amen. And God gives this. A force is a spirit. And it's a force and it causes wealth to come to you. Share this video with everybody you know, please. Tell everybody. Go to my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube and just type in Pastor Jim Kibler. You'll see 1,800 videos in there. All my stuff is free, folks. Except the books, you have to go to Amazon and get those. Amen? But we do give away a lot of them, too. Amen? Hang on. If you stay around long enough, you'll get one of them. You'll get a bunch of them because we give away a lot of books. Share these, please, with everybody you know. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. A life with the power to get wealth. And I will use the name of Jesus to make it happen in your life.